Doshiteru Yokoso YouTube and welcome to 3v3 number 2 for um, the standalone extension pack for Shogun 2 Total War. This is Fall of the Samurai on the rice fields today. A friendly 3v3 verse between uh, uh, the Matsuda family and I think uh, Farood's clan is called Ryoshi. Ryoshi something, I'm not sure. Uh, but. Uh, Fruit 100 Magic Khan Groin Baggage uh, versus Mr. Fluffykins or Drunkard Stuart D MFC who does have a channel on YouTube. He actually does his commentaries, uh, so do definitely uh, check him out uh, and myself on the rice fields. So this was a great battle, uh, very very hectic as you would expect from a 3v3. So uh, sit tight, grab some popcorn, get some soda. It, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, so here we are. As you can see, huge lines brought in today. Uh, so let's start out with uh, our opponents uh, on this side is Groin Baggage. Groin Baggage has two of these Atosa Riflemen. Now, Atosa Riflemen have increased range, 150. They also have great reload skill and good accuracy. They are basically your skirmishers. Uh, over here behind, his main line is composed of some Kihitai and an Imperial Infantry unit. And then he has uh, his General. And that's actually his army. Um, he's chosen quality over quantity. Uh, facing him uh, is uh, yours truly, and I have got quantity. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white bear infantry, and there's an eighth, and then there's a ninth, and then I've got three units of these Yariki, and I have brought no veterans, basically a clean slate army uh, today. Um, so those are my forces. Moving on to the middle. Held by Magikan. Magikan has a Carbine Cavalry. He also has a uh, Vermilion Bird Force. Two of those. And then uh, three of those, sorry. And then he's got some Shogatai supporting his lines. He's got two of those. And again, not a lot, not a lot of muskets uh, on his side. Uh, facing opposite him are the forces of Stuart D. MFC. And he's got uh, a sort of... a. Uh, a cool little line here. He's got an Azure Dragon Force, a Black Tortoise, uh, some more Black Tortoise, and then more Azure Dragon Force. So his his uh, his his line is composed of Azure Dragon Forces and Black Tortoises, uh, and he's got some upgrades. So he's sort of uh, in between me, for example, and Groin Baggage. Every time I say that name, I giggle. He has two Red Bears here as reserves. His General's Bodyguard, one unit of this Shogatai. High attack, low defense, and then he's got two Yariki. Uh, so the first engagement occurs here. Uh, he's using his Tosa Rifleman uh, against me, growing baggages, uh, and I'm trying to close the distance here to get some shots. Uh, I want to get my units around. You can see there isn't much space. He's positioned his troops rather well, and I want to get all my calf to sort of squeeze in and maybe hit his black lines. Um, uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's what's happening there on this side of the battlefield. You've got drunkard who is facing off with Frude. Uh, Frude has one two three four five line infantry uh, Two of them over here on the side He's got an Azure dragon force an infantry to marine a vermilion bird force and two imperial infantry He also has his general's bodyguard two Yari key and he's brought an artillery piece This is the Armstrong cannons and these are deadly so over here, what's happening is uh, I basically uh, pulled my uh, red, uh, my white bears uh, back, allowed him to charge into my cav. And now I'm going to try and overpower him on this side and maybe switch my uh, my own units around to maybe try and get some attacks uh, on him. And you can see I'm pressing at the same time uh, towards the middle. He's doing a good job with his Tosa Rifleman to keep my units out. And now you can see the stats of his units starting to make a difference. He is taking a lot of my units out, but I have reserves for a reason to fill in the gaps. That's what's happening here. Drunkard has also begun uh, the fight, but you can see Drunkard isn't doing a great job with the placement uh, of his units. But uh, he, even if he did place them well, these uh, these line infantry of fruits are just simply better uh, at doing what they do. Uh, so I'm going to keep pressing forward, and now, one having won the cap fight, I'm going to leave this, and now look, I'm going to leave his bodyguard alone, and I'm going to start charging at the backs of his uh, line infantry, and now the advantage is looking uh, like it's uh, mine on this flank, and I'm going to continue rolling it up, and I don't know why these units are doing this, probably corrupt uh, in the replay. But uh, I did roll up two of his units in this engagement. His general still lives, 
uh, but that's not going to matter much because now, even though he has a nice flank on me here, I'm going to sort of roll up this flank rather quickly. The centers still haven't collided. Drunkard was doing a decent job here, trying to fight against uh, Frude's forces. He did hurt them actually quite a bit. You can see a lot of them are heavily, heavily depleted. A Drunkard now pulling his forces back, trying to conserve them at a later time, which is a good move for him because we are making some great progress on this flank. Uh, so he is definitely doing the right choice. Your men are routing, sir. So I'm going to now continue wrapping up the flank with my cavalry. And I am also bringing up more troops. And uh, I don't know why my cab is doing this. Uh, this cab probably wasn't there and is probably corrupt. But uh, what happened was I basically lined my troops up here and just uh, took care uh, of his uh, middle. And I was telling my, uh, I was telling Stuart to sort of avoid having a central engagement just yet. I wanted him to sort of. Um, uh, delay the central engagement as long as he can uh, until I could basically get rid of this uh, side army. There goes uh, Groin Baggage's general, and now I'm just going to surround this remaining unit of Kihatai. And you can see they are going to get absolutely mowed down uh, in this nice little uh, surround. And this means that uh, Groin Baggage's army, uh, with his hidden cav, has now been removed out of the picture. He still has a Tosa rifleman. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that. I still have a good number of men left. And now, Stuart D has the go to begin advancing into the center of Magic Hand. Now, Magic Hand uh, doesn't have enough troops, and no nowhere near enough troops to deal with all this front and my flanking troops. Uh, so it all depends on how Frude plays his game now. He needed to push Drunkard back at this stage. Him lining up being passive wasn't really helping him much. Uh, he, yeah, there you go. He's beginning to push forward. He needs to remove Drunkard out of the picture. Sort of a flanking trade uh, that occurred here. And maybe that then will allow him to support Magikan's center. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, here we go. Drunkard still has some forces left. He is trying to line them up. Uh, but let's take a look at this Armstrong cannon that's been firing throughout the battle. It's got 160 kills. Uh, oh, that's quite deadly. Uh, for its price. Uh, that's a decent amount, uh, saying that a good line infantry that, you know, gets a good position can get anywhere from uh, uh, 80 to maybe 160 kills if you actually micro it properly. Uh, let's take a look at my troops, for example. Let's take a look at some of their kills. See, 104, 112, 39 on that one, 26 on that one. These are the reserves. They haven't really done much. 147 on this one. So uh, the, the artillery is does get, you know, a good amount of kills. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think it's overpowered. A lot of people have been saying it's sort of overpowered and, uh, you know, sort of uh, imbalanced and stuff. But I really don't think it is. I think it's decent. Uh, I think it's good. It has limited ammo. It's doing it, it's doing what an artillery piece should do. And it does take a retainer spot and uh, money. Uh, so, Drunkard now, he's uh, sort of new. I think this was like his third multiplayer battle. He's actually sort of new to the game. So, he's not too good at uh, lining up his troops up. But, I mean, he did a good job at holding Fruit up, and now Fruit doing what I uh, said earlier. A uh, good move on his part, sort of pushing on this flank. Uh, and I believe a Stuart a D does begin actually pushing at this stage. I don't know why my troops are sure to just standing here. This looks like a, a corrupt uh, replay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here we go again with these corrupt lead plays because I am pretty sure that at this stage uh, the uh, the main engagement was actually occurring. Uh, there are Stuart's forces and uh, I did instruct Stuart to actually send all his cav uh, back around. Uh, I was using the pinger and I was telling him you need to get your cav in this forest here so that when the, the engagement does occur we have an advantage over our opponents in terms of positioning. And um, I don't know if it's ever going to happen or not because of this replay, but uh, we'll see. The only action now that's happening is that Stuart was uh, uh, trying to, I guess, help Drunkard. But he's going to turn around and now deal with these flanking, uh, for, uh, flanking troops. This is a Carbine Cavalry. And uh, one thing about the Carbine Cav, uh, they have the same range as your line infantry. Uh, they have high reload skill. They're not very accurate and they're easier targets simply because they're bigger. They're on a horse, so it's easier for the bullet to hit them. Um, uh, so, you know, they're the kind of troop you need to sort of bring in from the side, take a shot, and, and retreat. Uh, at the same time, Drunkard here has just... Drunkard's area has sort of just turned into a clusterfuck. He's still somehow surviving, managing to stay uh, 
alive and now Magikan is uh, going to send his cav and just clean up Drunkard's forces here. But Valiant stand, but Drunkard a lot of pink and blue uh, bodies here. Uh, but that's cool. And now here is the push. It's going to happen. And yes, Stuart did move his troops over here on the right. Now you can see from the minimap, things are looking very grim for Magikan, who's about to take a double-sided attack from both of my troops and uh, Stuart's troops. And you can see I'm lining up my troops just simply uh, to try and get um, that nice around. And now Stuart sending his uh, uh, own cab around here. Frude basically has three troops left. One of them is wavering, and that's his Armstrong cannon, which I think may have been out of ammo at this stage. Um... I don't know actually, I don't know how to tell if uh, how much ammo they have left. Uh, but Magikan now uh, does a nice strike here at the backs of these red bears. Well, at the fronts, I think Stuart did turn them around in time. Uh, and uh, But unfortunately, they're not going to be doing too well. They are tired after chasing around Drunkard's forces. So Stuart actually doing a good job here, pushing them back. Fruit only has one unit left alongside his Armstrong. And now the main engagement has occurred over here in the center and the side. You can see continuous fire happening from my troops, uh, and Stuart D now launches a back attack uh, with his uh, cavalry, uh, and he's going to launch an attack into the rear here, and now Magic Hand just basically uh, last stand here. He's getting shot basically from everywhere. I wouldn't want to be a man in that line, that is for sure, especially on this side. These guys are getting absolutely decimated now. Cav charge, shot by muskets. It's not a pretty place to be. They do have the small cover bonus of this light shrubbery, but um, it's not going to be stopping much. And there you go. It's going to continuously uh, hit them. And <laughs> they're doing the weird step dance thing. But there you go. Magikan's center is about to collapse. One last time. I'm going to drop Rally just in case my units waver or something. I don't know. And you can see he is charging at my Shugatai. Uh, at my units with his Shogatai, but Shogatai have shirts on, and uh, shirts don't really block bullets well, especially when your general is not uh, in the picture anymore. But that was actually the fight. Um, good game to our opponents. Uh, that's That was a pretty good battle. Uh, some great stuff uh, from Drunkard and uh, Fru. That was a lot of uh, mismatch happening over there. You know, a lot of uh, exchange blows. A drunkard sort of holding on uh, long enough. I managed to win on my flank, and Stored sort of just held back, kept our center strong, and used his calf to get effect. Anyway, good game to uh, our opponents for this battle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to uh, comment if you have any questions or concerns, or just, you know, comment. <laughs> I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. Uh, thanks uh, for watching, guys. Uh, remember to thumbs up the video. It does help the channel grow and keeps me motivated. And uh, I'll see you next time.